want that. What you want to do is I would recommend buying a modular power supply. That's what this is. And what it means is that it will come with these basic ca cables, which is the 24 pin power cable that will plug in, in here. And then another power source cable that goes in here. We actually wired it from the bottom and then it comes out from here. This case is really nice for cable management. It provides you with these holes and then you just you can wire everything behind the motherboard so you don't have to have cables all in here you know and then just blocking the airflow and all, all sorts of things so right now putting the camera on here the modular power supply let me grab the cable here all the cables that it came with these cables it came with you can then plug in whatever cable you need um, the Molex cables the Hard, the hard drive cables that you will plug in, I'll come back to that. You know, the Molex, you will collect, connect your fans into those. And then, you know, if you don't need them, you don't need to plug them in. So, no extra cables needed. And, you know, the better airflow, the better everything. It'll look nice. Um, I'll show you guys how it looks at the end now. But, for right now, what we did is we put in our power supply and the motherboard. We screw it in, you know, we've got the memory on there, CPU with the heatsink and you know this if you're asking what this is this is a uh, it came with the heatsink that's a controller for the fan okay so we just put it back there and I'm still have to do something with this cable figure something out so it's not just sticking out here like this because then the video card will come in one of these slots and you know it'll be down here so but we'll come back later with that alright guys so we made some progress here I just want to show you we put in our DVD, uh, you know, drive combo. The red cable that you see is the SATA SATA cable that communicates with the, with the, you know, the CPU or it plugs into your motherboard there. These here are our motherboard plugs, uh, the outputs for the SATAs. The blue ones, this motherboard has blue ones, which are the three gigabytes per second, and the white ones are six gigabytes per second. That's if you're going into hard drive you know that that's if you buy a 6 gigabyte per second SATA hard drive but in here you also see this yellow cable that's our hard drive cable okay so we also put in our our hard drive it's still a regular hard drive it's not a solid state yet we're planning to do that later probably keep you updated with that um, basically what we did is we just plugged in our SATA cables right now we d we still have to plug in the SATA power cables that will power the unit and all these cables they are connected to the power supply okay so from the power supply we have cables coming out right now I just want to show you one of them for example these are the Molex cables the Molex cables are basically your power connectors um, these will connect to your fans see this is one of the fan ones basically just connect them like that um, we'll do that later also these that I have in here coming out wait a sec we're back there okay, these are the SATA power cables right here um, you will connect these in the back of your hard drive back of your um, DVD-ROM, CD-ROM that's just to give it a power okay they used to have the Molex ones as well but these SATA right now they're real nice uh, they changed it up a little bit so we're gonna be using these um, and uh, we'll come back when we have all this plugged in so the next step I'm not gonna film this but I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power cables and get my uh, video card ready you know unpack that and stuff and get it ready to be seated also I will come back when we plug in the uh, USB so the, the USB on the back plate are working and we plug in our power buttons and you know reset and HD lights and all those things okay so we'll come back with that yes so now we lay down our case again and we'll be plugging in these 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 might be a little tricky for somebody now this is where you need to get out your motherboard manual and go to the page where it says your F panel okay that's your front panel header and they'll show you a diagram of what gets plugged in where okay got your 
like the hard drive LED switch, your reset switch, so your power button works, um, your speaker. Uh, when you boot into Windows, that little beep that you hear, you need to plug that uh, you need to plug that speaker in as well. Okay, your power LED and everything, the lights. Um, so this is where you do that. Let me put that aside here. The F panel is down here. Okay, they have it colored, so it's you know it's nice and easy for us. Also, you know with the case, you're gonna get a bundle of these cables. And this is where they are. You, and they're labeled. You, you, this is your reset switch. Um, this is your hard drive light. So when your hard drive works, you know when it blinks, you need to plug all this in so it works. Here are the HD audio. The audio actually gets plugged in up here. That's where the motherboard has it. Okay, that's all in your manual. You need to look that up where this goes. On this motherboard, it gets plugged in in here. Um, also, I have USBs. So the USBs on the back are actually working. You need to plug these into the USB ports, which are in here. There's one USB, USB 2, USB 1, okay? So you need to plug this in. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, and then I'll come back when we put in our video card. What up, guys? MSI ATI Radeon R 5850 okay this is our card here a um, couple things about it this is your PCI connector this will pl get plugged into the motherboard once we seat it in here are your crossfire bridges well the bridge is actually right here that comes with your motherboard or with your video card as well um, these are the the connectors for it. That's if you want to have more than one card running at the same time. This is how they communicate with each other through this port. Um, on the back here are the PCI slots that will get plugged in from the from the power supply. The power supply provides these plugs. You know, just simply that feeds power to the video card. So you, it's essential that you plug this in. Otherwise, you will get all kinds of errors and stuff like that so right now we're putting it in we are putting this into one of these blue ones okay this is a an audio cable that we have to plug in but we're just gonna go around it so just carefully seat it in until you hear a click okay see there's a click now take these screws that came with your case screw her in And uh, there we are. There we are. Okay, so that's our video card. You know, everything is set up. Um, we got all the we got all the components in right now. So all we need to do is clean up the cable management. You know, the cables, and plug everything in. Plug our fans in. And after that, we will come back and show you the back side of the motherboard as well. Where there's all the cables, but that's fine. I'll show you a little trick. Um, so we're gonna come back after that. We're back. We just completed our build. This is how it looks like. Come around in here, real quick. I'll show you. This is totally normal, okay? Big ass clusterfuck of cables, okay? But that's okay because we'll put the back plate on there. We can use um, wire ties. See, like we've used one in here. You can use wire ties to to tie these together, and you know, just have them neat. But that's up to you. We can just leave these in here. Come around here. Look how clean this looks. Okay, we'll clean it up a little bit more. Um, we'll post back up in a few minutes when we have it about to be ready up and uh, up and running. We put in the video card right now. We plugged it in with these PCI Express. You know the power power cords from the power supply and like like I said everything that's coming from the power supply it's going into the hole and it goes from the the back of the motherboard so you can't really see the wires which is neat this you know it's a pretty nice cable management now come around here when we're ready to power up all you really need to do is plug in your power cable you know make sure the power supply is on and you know 
your USB mouse and keyboard and this is your sound card output here these are USB 3.0's they're coming in the future here's your uh, LAN Ethernet cable plug-in that's where you plug in your Ethernet cables for your internet here's a regular USB 2.0's eSATA USB um, you can have uh, the eSATA is for you know transfer transferring files off computer from one to another this CLR CMOS button in here that's um that's clear the C CMOS or C CMOS or whatever you call it um, that means if you overclocking your processor or doing something with the clocks and you know it gets messed up or something like that it doesn't move uh, it doesn't boot um, you would go ahead in here and press this you know wait a few minutes then turn it back on that will clear all the BIOS settings basically make it a default stock setting so you can boot back up um, now this motherboard actually it has dual BIOS which is real nice for overclocking if you're overclocking and you mess something up you know it doesn't it doesn't boot there's an option you can go and boot from the secondary BIOS there which will load up you know uh, a whole new configuration so you don't have to come in here and do the clear CMOS every time though. so it's kind of a neat you know feature that this motherboard has also this is your video card okay these are the DVI, DVI outputs these uh, he's got an HDMI output and this is the uh, I would think the display port for iInfinity uh, the ATI thing right now the feature iInfinity if you wanted to plug in multiple monitors I think this one supports up to three monitors and here are the DVI outputs. Uh, we will pl be plugging in our ARM monitor through this one, okay? Most of them will go through these. Um, so uh, we'll report back to you guys when we're ready to fire it up. Uh, we'll show it. We'll show it more. You know, all cleaned up and closed. And uh, so we'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So we finished our build. Put everything together. Got a nice case here. Okay, we plugged everything in the main plugs that you will need. This right here is for our wireless mouse and a keyboard, you know, whatever you got, the USBs plug them in. Uh, this is an Ethernet cable. Down here is the DVI output for the mon monitor. And down there on the bottom is our power source. Okay, cable. Uh, now turn it on. And put our Windows 7 installation disk in. Now let's go over to the monitor. First time boot. What you will see is this is the motherboard BIOS uh, boot up screen here. If you wanted to go into BIOS and set up things, you would press delete. You know, it tells you on the bottom here. That depending on that's depending on your mother motherboard. So it's different for each computer. Right now, by default, it will boot from a CD or DVD. Okay, so it'll boot a Windows 7 installation because we just put the disk in right now it says boot from CD or DVD you can hear the uh, DVD run working and now we've got Windows installing okay so I'm not gonna go through this whole installation uh, it's pretty self-explanatory you can just do it yourself uh, it's basically just simple steps you know clicking next and going right through it setting your time and your keyboard and stuff like that so um, that's basically it as far as putting everything together you know everything's working nice uh, it's, it's a very neat system the cable management is pretty nice I think um, if you guys have any questions please ask and I'll do my best to answer those